Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to wire a whole circuit for a, a dryer which is going to be 30 amp. And being that it's 30 amp, we're also going to be using this orange wire. Now it could be older wire that's white, you know, just because the color doesn't really dictate the gauge of the wire. But uh, in this case uh, it does, which is a 10 wire and we have four wires in here. But it's actually called the 10-3, right? Because we're not counting the ground. But you do need the ground. So we got a ground, we got two hots, and we have a neutral. It's required. Back while back, you could you could wire it with, with the 10-2, which depending upon what dryer you have, like the old style dryer, like maybe just like a buzzer when it's done, it works fine, right? Same concept but now the newer dryers for quite a few years have a lot of electronics on it you know like all kinds of weird stuff that you probably don't even use but still the same by code has to have a neutral why a neutral because we're going to use one of those hots and the neutral well we're not but the unit itself is going to use that to get its 120 volts to operate all that computer stuff you know that stuff that breaks in a year right when it's not under warranty anymore yeah that stuff anyway let's get going and show you how to wire this hey one big tip here if you're like a little freaked out about wiring this part of it and definitely you're going to be freaked out then when you get into the panel have the electrician do it right that's what they're supposed to be able to do but running the wire doesn't really take much of a skill. This particular house is really simple. This is the first floor, it's the basement, the basement's open, the panel's in the basement, so it's real simple. I'm not even going to show you that because it's so simple. So if yours is more involved than in that, you don't need to pay an electrician a million dollars to, to spend there all day running the wire. Ask them, say, hey, I'm going to run the wire and leave you plenty at the panel and plenty over here. Is that okay? How much do you want? Okay, anyway, let's show you the, just a quick here. Actually, you know what? Let's actually wire the outlet right here first. Running your wire, I like to use a big metal box because it's got a lot of wires, they're stiff. Uh, the outlet is actually uh, pretty big. I mean, look at the size of that outlet, right? You want as much room as you can. Being that it's a metal box, we have a cable connector. And I already got that in. You don't really need to learn how to do that. Uh, I mean, because self-explanatory. But what I do want to do is uh, strip this wire. Want to get this sh uh, sheath off of it. Being very gentle with my knife because I don't want to cut into any of the wires that I have in there. Again, very careful. Now bring it down. Now this is a very, very important part, okay? Don't cut too much of it off. Leave at least a quarter of an inch sticking out as you see right here, right? And that is code, believe it or not. Let's separate these wires. Here's our ground piece of paper wrapped around it. Pull that off. Our wires are actually uh, just long enough. Let's strip them uh, with the stripper. Should, looks good. You don't want to pull too much of this off, and I'll show you why in a second. And if you do, no big deal. You can always cut. If you don't do enough, you don't pull enough. You can do it. Do it again. Uh, where's my out? Where's my outlet go? Okay. So here's our outlet. The wires are the ground is going to act on it. You know, obviously going to go there. Let's open these up. Not all the way. We don't want the screw to fall out, and we're not putting a big old service wire in. Just open them up. Let's see. Make sure you can see this here. Whoop! There we go. Better view. I got you zoomed in a little bit. Uh, da -da. All right, getting a little long video here. We don't want to get that. Make, my whole idea is to make this a quick video. Okay, 
Let's do a process of elimination. A little dirt here. Ground. The round hole in the front there. Okay. Actually, let me go over these with you. Ground. Hot, hot, neutral. Okay? Just remember that. But ground, you can look at the, the grounding strap here. This is actually going to ground the metal plate here. Boom, boom. As well as your, your whole dryer. Let's see if I give you a better view of how we're doing this. Alright, sticking the wire in there. And we're going to tighten this screw down. How tight? Tight enough. You don't want it to pull out at all. Oh, yeah, tight. Alright. Now, this particular outlet, and, and I'm not going to say all of them. I mean, anything made <laughs> in recent years certainly will. You can see the coloring of your screws. They're uh, slightly tinted. We have like a yellow gold for the, our ground, and we have a reddish for our hots and our silver. That is our neutral. But don't always go by that. Okay, so here's a question I'm asked a lot. Here are our two hots we got going in. Well, how do I know the black one goes there and the red one goes there? Because it doesn't matter. They're coming in, and I'll show you that when we do the panel. It doesn't matter. They are just saying they are both hot. We can switch them around like that. It doesn't matter. They are both 120 volts. Uh, 120 volts, 120 volts equals 240 volts, right? Now, if you put a multimeter on it and really read what the voltage is, it could be lower, a little, lo a little lower, a little higher. Right? That's expected, right? You got voltage drop from the telephone pole, to, I mean, wherever your transformer is. There's lots of reasons. Uh, that, you know, I mean, geez. Uh, just making these nice and tight, as you're going to see, because we've got really got to muscle this to get this in uh, into the panel, uh, to the box here. We're going to be moving these wires, bending them and stuff, pulling on them. So again, uh, I mean, you want a good connection no matter what. All right. Now, if you look, you can see you just see a little teeny copper coming out of the wire here, and I got that pushing. Something like that is fine. More than that, no, no, no. Less than that, definitely no good. All right, because you don't want this. You don't want this screw to be grabbing onto that, because then your connection is really nothing or are really bad, or it will be really bad. Okay. Simple, easy as that. Really simple. We have our hot. I'm sorry. <laughs> We have our ground, we have our two hots, and we have our neutral. You look at it, they look like in the right spot based on the coloring. Again, doesn't matter. But no, the ground is on top, the neutral is on the bottom. And the hot's on both sides. Flip it over, voila! Our hot is on top, our two hots, and our, our neutral. Uh, and quite a, a good tip for you when you're doing this. The plug that you're going to be plugging in, right? Going to go boom right here. Ground is on top of that plug with that molded, you know, and it's all the whole plug is usually molded uh, and the wire is coming on the bottom. So try to keep the ground on top so when you go to put everything together, you don't got this wire hanging out like that and look like a, a noose. And you see, I'm bending everything, bending it over. Okay, now. In our case, because this is uh, all going new, con new construction, I'm going to have uh, our. Ah, uh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do it now. I got this plate going on here, and then our sheet, you know, for our sheetrock when we're all done. Nobody cares about that. We care about that, and now we're going to go to the panel and wire the panel. See how easy that is. Almost forgot. And use a ground tail 
So you see that green wire, you see that screwed into the back of the box and then connect that to ground by a pigtail. Into the panel we go. Tip of the day. Live panel. Turn the main breaker off. Not like that, because I didn't look. But, check it out. New panel. It's not even live yet, right? All this is dead. Okay, so don't bust my chops. Okay, same thing. Let's pull our wire, our sheath rather, off our wire. Ah. Ah. Sometimes, which I like to do, ah, get like this. Hey, look at that, one, two, three. Same thing, when you cut the, cut the sheath off here, Gotta leave some behind, okay? And we have our connector here, our cable connector, just like we did. This is gonna take me longer to explain it to you than it takes me to do it. But, because that's what I do, I make videos for you guys, I'm making a video. All right, so let's say this is being inspected, which it's supposed to be. Okay, so let's just say it's being inspected, okay? Or not. What you want to do is make it look as clean and organized. So that, you know, let the, the electrical inspector see that you care about it. Okay, so now this is our grounding bus bar. There's our neutral bus bar, but actually in the panel, it's the same. See how they're connected? Okay, I mean, it's not a secret. They're connected. So, I wanna position the wire to go in. Well, I mean, this is the first circuit going in, so they're all empty. So I wanna bring it down here. Uh, you see how I bent the wire over? I wanna cut it, because we don't want it sticking out that far, but, we do want it sticking out. Can you see that? All right, I'll give you a close up in a second. All right, tighten that screw. That's gonna hold that. Now, how many wires can you fit in one of these? One, one wire. Boy, this doesn't want to get tight. What's going on here? Uh, yeah, by code. You should be putting one wire in, okay? Can you fit more? Yeah, sure, that fit. But one wire, all right? And the same is gonna go with the neutral. All right, yeah, screw it. I'll show that to you when I'm done. All right, neutral wire, we're gonna put on the other side because I want all neutrals here, all grounds there. I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna make it look pretty. Okay, we're going to our neutral. I'm just gonna bend it and see where it ends up at. Over there. Jeez, I think I could have made this wire a little longer. A little longer. All right, this one we have to strip, unlike the bear. You getting bored yet? Too bad, keep watching. Every part matters. Boom, boom. All right, so we're gonna use this one here. Stick the wire in, have it come through. Not a lot, but enough that you know, and the, the electrical inspector knows that it's connected good. All right, but I can't see the other end. There we go. Nice and tight. But look at that, it looks nice and clean. And the whole idea is when I do the rest of this panel, which maybe I'll make a video, I don't know. Uh, I make it nice and clean. So when they come, it's like, oh, hey, all right, all right. And it's easy to see. And I'm gonna do the same. Two hots, the red and the black, okay? But now we need a breaker. 30 amp service, 30 amp outlet, 30 amp wire. Guess 
what amperage the breakers is. Okay. 30 amp. 30 amp breaker. We're going to figure out where we want to put it. Where you want to put it is always a fun thing on the new panel. Uh, normally, you have... Okay, oh, what? Hey, check it out. This is a new panel. I can see everything like this. Look at this. Okay. Hot, hot, coming in. Hot, hot, coming in. There's no difference between the voltage of this big-ass wire or this one to that one. Same voltage. The amp side it can carry, oh, well, that's, that's where the difference is. That's a 200 amp breaker. This is a 30 amp breaker. Uh, okay, but look at these bars coming down, okay? This is 120 volts. All, every part of that is 120 volts. And all that is 120 volts. But if you look the way these are, when we put this breaker in, this is a two-pole breaker. See right here? That's where the hot's making connection. 120 volts, 120 volts going in. When we put this breaker in, we want to make sure that we're going to grab both of them. Now it's not grabbing like this whole thing, it's going to grab a little nub right in there. So, oops. okay, put it like that, and it snaps in. It is in, locked in, that's it, okay? Uh, and we have room, as it lo looks like, uh, for one 120 skinny breaker on the bottom. Uh, Bend those, bend those out of the way now. Makes things a lot easier. All right, Got a wire going like that. Bend it, yeah. All right, so I'm able to keep this on the, the bottom there. Starting at the bottom is good because if I have to move it later, I can always move it up. But if I put the breaker here, and then decide it's oh wow I really should have put that on the bottom and I cut the wire well too late now so starting on the bottom instead. but I'm sure you're not doing a panel from uh, from fresh brand new like this so your your panel uh, you know you're going to be looking for room but you can move things around on the panel it's not a a, a bad thing to to do that. Um, but, you know, again, that's why I'm showing you these nubs there. Uh, make sure you make connection. And the same thing on our outlet, all right? We got a hot end each one, and we stripped that wire just the same way. All right, now I'm looking. I know you can't really probably see it on the camera, but I'm making sure I got some bare wire sticking out of, of that screw there. Uh, just like I said, I don't want that sheathing onto that screw. Uh, pass or fail, it just, you know, you're going to have a problem, so don't do that. Electrical inspector can't see every little piece, okay? I like doing it, especially with the, the heavier wire. Pull the breaker out, connect the wires, then, then you can uh, put, it, put it back, put it back in. Hello. Okay, there we go. We have our ground, we have our neutral, we have our two hots. It's done. Now you would put your cover back on and don't be freaked out by turning the breaker on. I know everybody gets freaked out when they do it and it's the first time. I get it, all right, I get it. But you just turn the breaker on. Don't run from it. Just and you don't hear anything, count to five, your wife's not yelling, there's a fire, sparks, job well done, good deal, you're good to go. But if you turn the breaker on and you, you, go, you turn it on and you <laughs> bite, <laughs> uh, 